All right, welcome to season eight. We're looking at the CL. Uh, uh, the tracks this time, we're only drawing six because Sonoma Raceway is ready with AI lines and pit lines. So we're only gonna draw six and Sonoma will be the first track on each of the two series. So UAE, France Le Mans, Hockenheim, Nürburgring, France Bugatti, and Belgium. Right, our biggest uh, loser was Camry Racing. Unfortunately, Smalls and Andy, a great driver lineup, but a really poor car this year. Uh, biggest gainer was LTR with a pretty good engine, now unspecced. And the customers, first customers, Bobcat Racing gaining four grip. And all of a sudden, Bobcat Racing and Ibram Jr. definitely a force to be reckoned with. It's going to be a doozy. And just like that, with the new package, Ibram on pole. Scuderia Minicare defending their title on the front row with the newcomer to LTR, Osti Gostin. Up in third. <laughs> down a little further in the grid, and we're not used to seeing. Small is way down there for Camry Racing and Nandy. Definitely a tough off season for CR9. Here we go, in Sonoma. Osti makes a charge way up front off the start. Excellent beginning. Hakeem trying to stay up there as well, but slides down Opelon by him. Now giving chase to Ibram. Rain is on the way, so a kibosh on those hard strategies. The mediums only peg to last the same amount of time as the softs. So we'll see if it's worth going mediums versus soft if the track has a chance of drying back up, but right now it doesn't. <coughs> Osti way out in front right now. Track is dry. They'll stay out for another lap, though. And perhaps try and finish the race on hards if the track is dry enough by the end of it. Platinum 5 and Suosid for Little Snowflake working their way up into third and fourth now. Probably the best running these LSF pairs I've ever seen. More rain on the way, so they're probably going to stay out. Yes, just in time for everybody to stay out. Disaster averted for Osti. And LTR looks set to cruise. His teammate, Vlad. 0204 drafted into his rookie season looking great but back up top platinum still trying to close the gap but we got a race up here with Opelon taking the pass right before the pits on Suosid <clears throat> Ibram working on Osti. Oh god. Oh. Where'd our race go? There it is. It's Asni up in front. That can't be right. Something happened there, but it looks like everything is proper. <laughs> Final lap, Ossigosin just holding on.
Ibram is pushing, is faster. Does not look to have enough time though. The grip package, not even enough. Opel on eyes on the podium. Ibram just too little too late. Aussie Austin is going to take the first win of the year at the brand new Sonoma Raceway and Hakeem in there for the top five. And Vlad Jr. giving some support for BCR this time with an amazing second place uh, performance. Fast lap to Opulon with Heritage. They will be in the mix for the constructors as well. So it looks like we've got a three-way fight developing. And Gamer Jr.'s debut down with Rapids Jr. Not as brilliant. And it's a three, possibly four-way race for the constructors this year. And we're moving on to the UAE. Another poll for Ibram and Franz and Jordan F1. Much better qualifying efforts this time. But Bobcat right up there. They mean business. Here we go at the Yas Marina. Suwasid making a charge early on Farrow, looking at Slipstream on Hakim to try and break through past those hard tires and will do so. Now closing in on Ibram. Ibram holding steady with the mediums. In through the winding last section of the track. And Pharaoh makes the pass there on the front straight. Oh, fantastic racing up front. And then here in the top five as well, Vlad Jr. going for the pass on Hakeem as well. Yes, Hakeem down to fourth. Suwasid on the other side, double pass. Executed Ibram back past Pharaoh for first at the moment as those softs start to degrade fairly rapidly. Pharaoh in for his first pit. Looks like someone might have got caught up. Suwasid perhaps wanted to pit, but wasn't able to. It's going to be a really rough third lap. Ooh. Aussie Gossin right back into the mix here. Ibram with a really nice, handsome lead as he takes his pit stop. Everyone coming in for a change. The hard tires maybe will go for another one. And it is Hakeem. Hakeem goes for a fourth lap. But we've already got Pharaoh charging on his second set of softs. Easily by Hakeem. Will he be able to maintain pace on the slipstream with him? Oh, Pharaoh's losing grip really, really fast. The mediums are the safer bet, and here comes Ibram to prove it. The brand new set of tires, he's going to go three to end it. Will those tires have enough life by the end of the race? Aussie Galston may have a great strategy going on here with the hard tires. And they are set to last till the end with plenty of grip remaining as the cars start to space out here now. Quite a bit actually. Ibram really needs to push to get the most of his time out in the start. It's going to be a really bad second half of the, the lap here as it's super super windy and technical. He should be fine through this portion the battle ensuing right now. Vlad passing Pharaoh. But the tires are no good. Ibram. No challenge at all. Taking the win. Vlad almost with a double BCR podium. Jake in the mix here. Opel on Hakeem and Little Levy. Here's your finish. Ibram Pharaoh with the fast lap for Franz. Vlad, a great performance as well. BCR is going to be looking in really great shape.
There we go, the second half of the lineup. Platinum 5 way down this time in 17th for Little Snowflake, so... Bizarre, bizarre, poor, poor race for him. Osti leading the way with Ibram. They're tied at 55. It's a two-way race. So Osted and Hakeem looking like not much of a threat from way back. And Bobcat nicely leading the way by 11 points. Lamont's up next. Oh, baby, Ibram takes another pull. That's three in a row from the Bobcat driver. Franz pressing. Is it too little too late for the Constructors race? Who knows? Ossie Gustin all the way down in 11th, though. All eyes on Ibram, but many eyes on Ossie Gustin to see if he can get through this traffic. As we go for the long, long lap of Le Mans. Farrell way out in front to start. Akeem on the charge. Suwasid also making progress. Asigasen up to ninth, back to 10th though, making no progress through this crowded grid. <clears throat> As Ibram drops way, way, way behind on the hard strategy. Um, can't tell anything yet. He needs to pick up some slipstream from Hakeem to stay in it, but he doesn't seem to get it. We're going to see our soft tires pitting immediately on the second lap. There's no way you can push three. Even the mediums not going for it, only the hard staying out. A lot of drivers opting the softs here and then to the hards. Splitting the race two laps in four seems to be a viable strategy. The fourth lap on the hards is going to be questionable, however. Ibram coming in after three laps. And it looks like that seems to be the choice. Three and three on the hards or some other split of mediums and hards. Oh, rain is coming, so Gamer and Skip get onto the wets, but a lot of the rest of the field is going to be around and done their lap before they have a chance to suffer any wet consequences, and here they come. Just as the rain starts, Hakeem, Pharaoh, Ibram, so really Skip and Gamer were the only ones who lost out there doing upwards of a half a lap on wet tires without rain. Hakeem and Pharaoh and Ibram, large margin ahead. So also giving pursuit. However, the heartbreaker for PCR is Vlad Jr. all the way down in 17th spot. Hakeem one lap to go with a big lead. Back of the pack here. They are getting a little more bunched up here. Hakeem, Pharaoh, Ibram, Suwasit quite comfortable. Jake chasing down Opelon. Oh, wow. Looks like he might be able to do it. Jake definitely with the faster pace and a great pass there at the end. As Hakeem comes in to win your Le Mans Grand Prix, Ibram almost passing Farrell right at the last minute. Hakeem with the win, Farrell with a fast lap, pretty dominating win there. Three and a half seconds up on Ibram, but Ibram's going to be cruising in that driver's championship still. Let's see. 
how close the constructors is now. Because it's definitely changed. Um, Aussie Gossen, it's only eight points difference. But he'll need a miracle and a poor performance from Ibram to have a shot here. Really tough year for Camry, Sunset, and Rapid. They they just don't have the drivers on Sunset to, to drive that great car they have. Oh, it's 12 points. 12 points. Franz was not close enough at the start of the year, so you can almost guarantee Bobcat's got it, but Ossie Gossin still a chance to turn the tides and the drivers. Faro preventing the sweep of qualifying this time. Ibram down in 7th, and not his track, apparently. But Osti down in 12th, so even worse for him. Ibram, if he's able to play safe and strong, will definitely take home the Drivers' Championship here, but it's going to be an exciting race to see who gets the win as Hakeem starts out front. Jake and Faro, the Franz tag team duo in pursuit behind. Vlad Jr., the leading BCR driver this time, with Little Snowflakes following. Skip ahead of Suasa now, Ibram following as well. Vlad Jr. trying to get ahead of the Franz, he's ahead of Jake, but Pharaoh still ahead. Platinum 5 in the mix of everything. Pharaoh gets double passed by Jake and Vlad Jr., and they are charging hard at Hakeem. Jake looking outside of Vlad Jr. and inside the switchback. Oh, no, not the switchback, but just the inside lane. Works perfectly. Ibram now passed Vlad Jr., his teammate, and the soft tires are in. But we see Hakeem way out in front right now. Ibram catching him slowly. But we'll have to get in for some tires as well. Hakeem's out for another lap on the hards. He's going for four. The mediums come in. Some of the hards stay out. Some of the hards go in. Hards and hards. Some of the strategies. But then this, this four laps hards. Hakeem, it's a really tough sector coming up here. We'll see how much time he loses out on. Rain. Could be a possibility in the last lap, but at this point, everyone will be fully committed. There could be some two stoppers. Nope, no two stoppers. So we've got Ibram leading with the fronts is right behind. Vlad Jr. is in 6th though, so supporting BCR's efforts with the Constructors title. They look to have it secured. Hakeem just blasts through right both, both of the Franz Motors cars. Ibram is going to be a three-time race winner and his second of the season just hanging on over Hakeem Farrow and Jake Platinum skip Sue said Vlad Jr. getting passed at the last minute I don't think it by two drivers congratulations to Ibram and to Bobcat Racing and skip for the fast lap here in Hockenheim A little step back for Jordan F1 this year, but I think it's because of the immense steps forward from some of the other teams, not necessarily their failings. They remain pretty solid all year, and there you have it, a 20-point margin of victory. Hakeem ending up in second. Scuderia not in shape to defend their title this year because it goes to 
your Bobcat Racing, blowing their personal bests of seventh in the eight prior seasons out of the water. Here we go. We have a new era of racing, and it is called the customer era. Look out. <laughs> 